Kevin Johnson. How you doing, man? Outstanding. We're talking about clean comedy. Why, why clean? Clean works. I don't like to be edgy and blue. Some challenges I've had, I worked one room and then the uh, manager said, if you want to work here again, you got to be more blue. And it's just not who I am. You just want to be wholesome and family friendly. Exactly. Always be family friendly. That's really my audience as well. Mm -hmm. It's family friendly and <laughs> doesn't, doesn't hurt that I have so many kids. <laughs> How many kids you got? Five. You got, you yeah, got, don't clap. It's you expensive. got a handful of kids. Yeah. <laughs> a handful. A handful. Five, man. Up from 19 all the way down to three. Wow. I had a new child every cruise contract. What happened there? Is that what happened? <laughs> How long have you been doing stand-up? As far as stand-up goes, it's fairly new to me, actually, about 10 years. Mm. I started out with a ventriloquism and really relied on that, and I think that there is... A hybrid between the two. So, so how long have you been doing the, the whole, your act, the ventriloquism, all of that? I started in 1979. That's when I got the bug where I started hearing you? the voices. How old were you? I was nine years old. Nine years old. Nine years old. And, uh, wait, wait. Hearing the voices. Yeah, my mother was like puppetry or therapy. <laughs> we went the cheaper route. <laughs> but uh, uh, my grandfather was a magician, so uh, he kind of, I was inspired to do stage stuff. I wanted to be a magician or a juggler or mime and, you know, that whole variety arts world. About four years in the process, my grandfather challenged me. He said, you get good enough for your craft, you can open for my show. So I took him serious. And uh, I was 13 when I did my first five minutes on stage. And you opened for his show? Opened for his show. For your grandfather? It was an Elks Lodge in Boulder, Colorado. And look at you now. Right? Well, yeah, the <sighs> Rotary Club in La Jolla. Yeah. <laughs> We really stepped up, man. Uh, from television to Skip Successful, we're right through it. <laughs> how do you how do you juggle that career of, of being being on the ships and 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 having five kids and a wife? And how do you how do you make having all that? an amazing wife uh -huh. is the biggest key to that. Uh, I couldn't do it without her. Typically, how long are you out? Generally, it's usually a week. So I'll be gone a week, home a week, gone a week, home a week. So I'm gone about half the year. So in 99, you decided, okay, I'm going to be a professional ventriloquist. I'm going to go out on the road in the high seas and do all that stuff. Well, and at the time, I actually moved to San Diego because they were opening Legoland, California in Carlsbad. Okay. So I went down with my characters and auditioned for their puppet theater. They were going to have a puppet theater like Punch and Judy. Right. <laughs> and uh, I brought my characters. No other puppeteers that were auditioning brought their puppets. And so I brought them in. Then they saw the birds, and they're like, can you do your own show? And I'm like, Yes. Nine years and almost 9,000 shows later, wow. I left Legoland. America's Got Talent, mm -hmm. you, you, you wait in line, you do the show. Mm -hmm. How far did you go? Got to the semifinals, top 40. And what did that do for you as far as bookings and all that? It kicked the doors wide open. There were rooms that I couldn't work in San Diego. They were like, why don't you come to open mic night? And then as soon as we did that show, Letterman called us. And uh, I say us a lot. They're all in here. But, you know, you get it. Yeah. But then, <laughs> so, yeah, I've seen the crazy. <laughs> they, yes. So Letterman called, and then uh, the doors kicked wide open. I called the clubs back, and they're like, what night do you want? And it's amazing how that just turns everything. Wow. So it kicked the doors open. The, the BBC in London called. They said, we saw your show on America's Got Talent. We want you to do our show. And ironically, their show was called When Will I Be Famous? <laughs> I'm still wondering <laughs> when that's going to happen. So, <laughs> So you went on, when will I be famous? Mm -hmm. And did that open doors in the UK for you? It did nothing for me. That didn't, except for the fact that that show aired in 75 English speaking countries. So, so my Facebook and all my social media at that point, yeah. was just, they were just starting out with all those things. It just went through the roof and all of a sudden I was a somebody. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. So what's your favorite bit to do while you're up there? What's your my favorite, favorite is Godzilla Theater. You know, remember the old yeah, yeah. The police academy? I watched the police academy, and the guy was doing the, Michael the Winslow. kung fu. Michael Winslow. Thank you. And I thought, I want to do that. And I was thinking, I probably could do it easier than he can because I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> so, you're, you know, with, with ventriloquism, the tongue does all the work. So then I had to learn how to have the tongue do one thing and the lips do something else. So it, was, it took me two years to really wrap my brain around it and figure out how to do it. And eventually, well, it's like, do it. can you play it with the camera? It's like... All right, you know what's going on right now? I think you and I are going to go outside, and this is going to happen right now, okay? Read the mouth. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is going down right now. You got it? And it just trips me out. <laughs> I just even watch the whole thing. I'm like, is this possible? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's like a magician. You have your, your tricks with you everywhere you go. <laughs> but the Godzilla theater is my favorite. 
Who, who was your biggest influence? Ron Lucas was a guy I watched growing up. And As a ventriloquist? He's a ventriloquist, okay. right. And he did a lot of television specials. And so he was my influence growing up. I said, I want to be like that guy. He's been my influence in the ventriloquist world. Mm -hmm. But as far as uh, the comedy world, I'd say Tim Conway and oh, yes. Jonathan Winters. Yeah, I was just going to say, Wayne Newton and Jonathan Winters had a baby, and it's you. There it is. There's, I come off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. I'm going to do my hair a little tighter next time. <laughs> yeah. Working out. <clears throat> Jonathan Winters. I walk off stage on the ship so many times. People are like, you know, you remind me of Jonathan Winters. It's got the facial expressions. I could never do Botox because mm -hmm. I'll lose all that. If you could choose from anybody, any comic, any ventriloquist, who would you like to open for? Jerry Lewis. Mm. I think he was brilliant, but I think he could also step back and allow other people to do their thing. I had a comment one time tell me to do less time Man. because I was getting too many laughs before he came on. Mm. So instead of doing 30 minutes, I had to 20, <laughs> which made it worse. I just think, can't we all just get along? We'll just share the yeah. time. And see, me, it's like I want everybody to do well, right? You right. Know, if, if the person in front of me is killing, I'm going to go on stage and ride the wave. Absolutely. If the person in front of me dies, if they, if they just <laughs> die a horrible death out there, they can't wait to see me. Have you ever bombed? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> More times than I'd like to say. And, you know, I've always heard that adage. It's like, it's never the audience, it's you. Uh -huh, I disagree. <laughs> I sometimes, I'm out there sweating and working it out. I'm like, this, this stuff works all the time. I'm changing pace, trying to, trying to change things around, move different bits in, and I cannot win with these audiences. Fortunately, with, with ships in the past, I've been all right. But it's, it's the non-ship crowds. Yeah. I've, and it's taken me a while to find out who my audience is, you know. It's not the one percenters. I've learned right. that. <laughs> well, I think for me, I stopped doing like, it's like, it's like I don't like to do bar shows because, mm. because there's too many distractions. Sometimes they don't turn the TV off. They feel people, there's people that come there that just want to talk and have a drink and they don't, want to, right. they don't want to deal with whatever this little show is going, just do your little show. We're going to have our conversation. And you wonder how many of those people are there actually for you or for the show. Well, you, you find out immediately because they're the ones that are still yeah. talking. <laughs> they're not here for you. That's the truth. And listen, can you stop making all that noise? Yeah. I'm trying to have a conversation <laughs> over here. Well, I appreciate you coming out. I, I think. Um, Thanks for I, having I, me. I, I think I, I, I think maybe we should should do something. You know, some character stuff. I think that would be fun because I love watching your character work, and mine are twisted. So let's let's go and play around with some characters because 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 Zeke is giving me the creeps. Oh yeah, if he starts moving, <laughs> let me know. He's staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't stop staring at me the whole time. He, I'm from Compton. It gets oh. me defensive, and I'll hey. cut Zeke. <laughs> I laugh, but Mark really cut Zeke. Which was a huge mistake, because Zeke, he's an expert with the blade. Exceal. Well, he barks like one. He cut him, and it was terrible, man. There was wood chips and felt flying everywhere. He knocked the stuffing out of him, man. It was crazy. I eventually calmed Mark down a little bit. I mean, we did a little improv. This is what happened. All right, well, let's, let's, let's do this, this little thing where, okay, <coughs> we're in a waiting room, hospital waiting room. We're, okay. we're in a hospital waiting room. All right. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I, uh... Got to go in there and get that boil removed. Really? How long you had that? 22 years. 22 years? Yeah. And you're just now getting it checked? No, that's my son. Oh, see, that's what I... He's like a boil. He, he, he won't... He's he, like a... He, you know, his day job, he's a roofer. You know, he fell off the roof. Okay. You know, he said he's all right. He said his, his leg was turned around backwards. But I told him, no, he was born like that. So the roof didn't, didn't straighten it out at all? No, I thought it would, but it, but it didn't. It didn't. I know they tried to fix that leg because I heard him scream. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know what he did? He up on the roof, fell into the top of my truck. Top of my truck. Whole top of my truck, man. Truck is towed up. Well, I'm actually, uh, I sell insurance. Oh. So, like, if I got me a policy on this boy, mm -hmm. and he fall off a roof and don't make it, how much can I make? Well, let's just work out a deal, because we're going to bring in a third-party situation. Okay. Because uh, <clears throat> what do you think about this? Do you think he's got a case? Oh, yeah, he's got a case. We'll make you lots of money. <laughs> can, can he take care of the accident? Can you help him out in that way? Absolutely. I'll take care of it all. <laughs> Get your checkbook out. We take credit card as well. Oh, yeah. We got it well, all. Well, couldn't you just take part of the policy once it comes in? What, what percentage are we on with that? It's only 55%. <laughs> but on a million-dollar policy? I'm we still happy. Up. We get that written up right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. See, that was fun. I'm glad you and Mark have put your differences aside long enough to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to smother him with the pillows. What's going to happen? I'd listen to him, Mark. He's done it before. We used to have six puppets. Who, who you got there, Kevin? This is Harley. Yeah, I can talk. I can tell you who I am. <laughs> oh, right. I remember you. <laughs> <He's>... <laughs> you want to do a little improv with me, then? Can I? 
Yeah. A lot like that. Yeah. Let's That'd do, be good. Let's do a couple of old guys right. in, in a retirement home, right. and we're, we're, we're waiting for the lunchroom to open. I can do that. You just keep your mouth shut. I'll, I'll take care of it. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're we going to sit out here outside the lunchroom. Right. And wait for him to open up the door. Wow. Because sometimes the door don't open on time. It, see, this boy, I can see that boy back there right now. And he, he needs to hurry up. Look here. Look here. Look here. It's, a, it's already half past the hour, and he's supposed, to, he's supposed to open 20 minutes past the hour so we can get in there with the walkers and whatnot. By the time I get in there with my walker, you know, that fat gal from the second floor, she already in there. She already get, get the best piece of chicken. Oh, that's not acceptable. But this boy here, this boy, <laughs> he, he don't wash his hands. He got a hair net on, got that greasy neck from all that juice he put in his hair. Ain't nobody wearing no jag curl no. nowadays. He always putting his hands in his hair. I'll tell you, they need to hurry up and open up, because I'm I'm. Boy, well, don't open up that door. Have it's lunch time. Here they come. It's good talking to you, Well, Hardy. it's about time. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Yeah, uh, about about quarter quarter till. Why not? We'll wait. Get down here quarter till, because then we're going to wait till quarter after. Maybe they'll open early one of these days. No, not with him back there. <laughs> I'll be glad when he go back to the penitentiary. You know what? I'm going to trip him when we get in there. You know, and then you know what I'm going to do? What the? I'm going to spit up on him. Hey, Eddie! Because I can't, hold that, I can't hold that milk down. <laughs> That's a great character. I like that. Can I drink some of that? No, you don't need any water. You let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be in there with the hairnet on in five minutes. <laughs> wow. He's rowdy. That's my job. <laughs> Look at it. I love the ladies. There's a lot of good-looking women in California. You got a girlfriend, Harlan? Yeah, I used to. I tried to get him into the internet dating. Mm. Yeah, on the cruise. Yeah, check my email. It cost me six hundred and thirty-two dollars. <laughs> That's horrible. Don't, don't do the internet. You, at got, sea. you got to get a satellite phone. Now we're talking. The little James Bond going on. Mm -hmm. At least my hand wouldn't just hang out there. <laughs> Can you hold on to it? It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I usually hold on to it. Now I don't feel so bad. Just hold my hand through the show. <laughs> you play any instruments? I'm working. I play the radio. Uh, he's working on some instruments. I just, well, what? My hand doesn't work. There we go. I can, <laughs> I can do the heart. There we go. I just do the heart. <laughs> that you're done. <laughs> good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. Oh, that was exciting. Wasn't that good? That was amazing. Mark is a talented guy. I'll tell you what, I like having him around. You don't think that uh, Zeke really knows where he lives, do you? I hope not. I don't think so. No, trust me, he'll choke you out. He did it to Bobo. We, hey, 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 we don't talk about Bobo. We, we don't talk about Bobo. Well, thanks for coming out, Kevin. I mean, uh, you, you're one of my favorite folks in the world, and I'm so glad that you were able to come out. Um, so now, I, I guess you just put on your, your get up, and, and then uh, we'll see you stand up. If you're all right with that, I brought yeah. some other friends. We'll, uh, we'll break them out. They're my favorites. All right. I say the favorites. Thank you so much for having me out here. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> and now, please welcome to the stage, Kevin Johnson. You do realize that essentially you just introduced yourself. Don't ruin the illusion. <laughs> welcome back to Pure Comedy, brought to you by PureFlix.com. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my good friend, Kevin Johnson. What's up? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> please keep that going for my friend, Mark Christopher Lawrence. Thank you, thank you so much. How exciting. My name is Kevin. These are my two friends. Uh, on my left is Matilda. Hello. <laughs> yeah, they don't talk. Yeah, yeah, they do. They're fine. Hola. <laughs> Oh, they speak Spanish. Okay, well, she's been learning Spanish. She watches Dora the Explorer. <laughs> you know, they teach English and Spanish. Una más cerveza, por favor. <laughs> she did not learn that on Dora. <laughs> I hope not. What's up? Matilda, why don't you tell them about yourself? Like what? <laughs> tell them anything. I'm like a bird on me fly away. We know you're a bird. Yeah, duh. <laughs> tell, tell them something they don't know. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> no, not exactly. Not even close, actually. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> On my right is Clyde. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> He's a very talented buzzard. Let's not call me a buzzard, all right? Oh, I'm sorry. He doesn't like to be called a buzzard. He doesn't think they're very handsome. And I am. Awkward. <laughs> and what kind of a bird are you? I am Zorro. Zorro is not a bird. And you are not Zorro. Yeah, look at this. 
What are you doing? Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh. <laughs> I waited for that. Lurt the wait. Lurt the wait. What was that? Z for Zorro. We got it. Unless you're Canadian, Z for Zorro. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get that one. In Canada, they don't say Z, they say Z. So they end their alphabet with Z and their sentences with A? <laughs> Can you just give her $20? For what? To buy a clue. Come on, man. Says the guy who thinks he's Zorro. <laughs> I am Zorro. Go see my movie. You're not in the Zorro movie. If you were in that movie, I was in Titanic. What? You were in Titanic. No. Oh, yeah? Watch this. Jack, Jack, come back. <laughs> what, what is she looking at? Just, just let her do it. Jack, I'll never let go. It looks like you did. <laughs> okay. There he goes, right next to your career. Okay, now you're being rude. No, it's still Zorro. <laughs> Why does he do that? It's his costume. He doesn't need a costume. He looks like a candy corn. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> Don't. Mm -hmm. I'll start calling you Titanic because you're going down. We work a lot on cruise ships and we found out that's not the best joke to do on a cruise ship. <laughs> well, we're in the Caribbean. What are they going to say? Ice cube, right ahead. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, don't step on it. Back in the glass, sir. Back in the glass. <laughs> Clyde is going to sing for us tonight. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> it's part of the show. Well, get rid of it. I'm not getting rid of it. I want to sing my song. Okay, hold on just a second. He knows that anything he can do, I can do better. Oh, I doubt that. This is not a challenge. Then let me sing. Fine, what would you like to sing? Something from the sound of music. <laughs> <laughs> what, I thought she said sound of mucus. I know that one. <laughs> Stop. That's disgusting. Thank you. <clears throat> Sing your song. High on a hill's a lonely goat herd. Yodelay, 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 dee What was that? I was yodeling. That sounded like roadkill. Ow, 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 screech, ow. <laughs> roadkill? Now that's some good eating in Texas, am I right? See, that's disgusting. It's a little gassy, too. I call that the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> What's that? <clears throat> you think you can do any better? You try to yodel. Ooh, challenge. All right, I've got this. You cannot yodel. <laughs> a deedle do, de yodel do, de yodel do. <laughs> okay, he's learning. Learning? Check this out. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Yeah, what's up, little one? Are you mad now? Are you mad? Are you an angry bird? Is that you? Look, all right, they, they also do impressions. Here we go, Elvis. No, he does not do Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> what, too soon? Too soon on that one? That is not Elvis. Have you seen him lately? Come on. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. How about Chris Angel? <laughs> Chris Angel. Now, there's a guy who's got the whole... What's up? I, I, don't, I don't get it. Yeah, neither did they. <laughs> you know what? I've got one. You have to guess what it is. All right, well, guess. Meow. Meow. Really? Really? That's what you got? I'm over here levitating. She's all, meow. I've got your cat. Check this out. He does not do a cat sound. Relax. Hey, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Clyde. Mm, cat with a hairball. <laughs> we got it. Is there something in your throat? Yeah, that would be your hand, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. about it. You know, uh, if you've ever thought about becoming a ventriloquist, don't do it. Unless you had a good psychiatrist. <laughs> There's a fine line between ventriloquism and schizophrenia, right? You have to keep the personality separate. And the lines separate. And the voices separate. 
because if you mix up the voices, I would sound like her, and I would sound like him, and I would sound like you. And that would not look good. I don't like it. I want my voice back. It's hard to sleep at night when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, keep that separated. <laughs> All right, we'd like to uh, finish with our signature bit. Do you remember the old Godzilla movies? Where the words never match their mouth? Yeah, we're going to show you what it would look like to see that live without the camera tricks. We call it Godzilla Theater. Check it out. <clears throat> Did you hear? There's a dinosaur on the loose right here in Los Angeles. How does that make you feel? Are you scared? Come on, talk to me. I'm not scared. I am Zorro. <laughs> it's not Zorro. It's Zero. <laughs> Look, it's Godzilla. We have to get out of here, right now. That's not Godzilla, that's the Geico Gecko. I'm not kidding. Let's get out of here, right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> You've been a lot of fun. Thanks for letting us play. It's been a lot of fun out here. Thank you. Hey, Mark, thank you. Hey, baby, what's up? Kevin Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Clyde and Matilda. Thank you. What's up? What's on the social media? <laughs>